Hello friends, this is Angel Soriano. Today, I'd like to talk to you about fearful puppies in this segment of Daily Dog Man. Thank you for tuning in to this segment today. Remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell to receive notifications when we have new releases. Give us a thumbs up. And add a comment if you like what you're seeing. That little bit helps us so much in putting more material together in the future for you. Today, I'm inspired to talk to you about fear in puppies. We see it very often here in our practice, and we unfortunately also see this condition mature into something it does not need to be. It's important to set the record straight that fear is somewhat normal in puppies as they grow through it. It's a condition that many puppies will go through starting as young as 12 weeks of age and they'll probably mature out of it about five or six months of age. I often call it fear of the unknown. These young puppies are in their exploring phase of their life and they're beginning to learn that other things and people exist, animals exist. And these things are often so different than what they're used to that it creates a little fear in some of them, sometimes a little anxiety, okay? You'll note that I say some puppies as nothing is absolute and I've seen puppies that nothing affects them. So although this condition is somewhat normal, I mentioned earlier, what is not normal is that a good number of these puppies carry this fear longer than they should and sometimes forever. You see the problem lies again with the human pack. Why you ask? Well, let me tell you Kimosabe, the reason we are often responsible for the dog not recovering quicker of this unreasonable fear is because we care for our little darlings so much and we feel bad that they're afraid of something that we then start acting incorrectly. Since we feel bad, we then assume the dog needs coddling and love and attention and touch. I'm here to tell you friends that attention, love, coddling is interpreted as praise by your pup, which was not your intent in this case, right? Does this make sense so far? If you praise the condition in a dog, they will give it to you again. This is what they think you want them to do. Look, everyone understands the praise concept. You praise, they repeat. However, the reason for this video today is that a whole lot of you are confused about that comforting to a dog really means praise. So, the simple lesson today is to stop praising your dog when they're slowly approaching this plastic bag that is so fearful, right? Or if he spooks away and runs away from it. Stop, don't use praising words, do not coddle them, do nothing more than watch the dog. Try observing the puppy and see how long it takes for him to get over this fear or to get some courage, right? When he does finally conquer this, even if it's small, then you may praise. You see where I'm going with this? Stop asking your dog to give you more of something unless that something is what you want him to do. Last in this topic, if you already have an adult that is suffering from fear issues, just call an expert. Often these conditions are treatable with the right time, the right approach, the right plan. You need to put a behavioral plan together and you will need time available to execute these. Okay, Friends, just call us if you struggle with this question or any other training condition, severe behavior. This is what we do and we'll be happy to help you. That's it for this topic today. This is Angel Soriano barking back at you on Daily Dog Man. If you like this video, please help us out by subscribing to our YouTube channel. We also appreciate your comments if you have them. Remember, there are three ways for keeping in touch with us here. One, you can email us at dogman at mykanine.com. Two, you can sign up to our email list at mykanine.com at dogman. And three, you can subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button. You can find all of this information in the comments section below. 